Hello, this is Chuck. We are back again with another set of Oxen Free. And I don't know how close I am to the end of the game since the, uh, the uh, ghosts tried to make a deal with us. I have an idea, Mr. Jordan. Couldn't we have him reborn? Uh, what? Who are you talking about? Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... Are you okay now, really? Yeah, I think. It's just, um... Uh, look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like... Just, like, how do I say this? Because I don't want... It's wanna... okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say... I just... I think it would have been cool, us living together for... For whatever, senior year. And I'm just... Glad I met you, that's all. I'm just glad we met. Oh, Jonas, you big sap. Okay, all right, that's all, nothing to see here. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. And we're gonna be fine, by the way. There's no, you don't have to put it like, it would have been whatever to live together. We are gonna live together, and you're someday soon gonna eat all the peanut butter, and when I go make a sandwich, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> all right. Oh, there's a, there's a top and bottom route. Again, I want to like search for Adler's letters. Let's go the more dangerous way. Did I ever look what's... I think that this um, stuff is getting pulled in from like their time or something. This is so weird. Um, yeah. It's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. Okay. Now I'm hoping... See, I don't know because there is the bottom route and the top route. I just... Maggie Adler's letters, I don't know if they're going to, where they're going to be. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to look at that bottom loop and say, hey, yeah, that, there you go, there, that's it. Originally, I was going to take this top route, but for whatever reason, I couldn't figure out. I tried pressing spacebar on what she wasn't climbing, but I got her to go. Okay. Let's go down this way. Okay, so that's one way. Looking for shiny shiny. No. I think it's gotta be something here. Ah, here we go. I guess Maggie was the one who had this place turned into a park. Huh. After the fort closed, I used considerable resources from my father's endowment to buy up most of the land, or influence government officials to declare that which I could not buy protected. I have not been entirely successful and have watched in horror as a small tourist industry has precariously sprung upon this cursed island. Even the family of one of the sailors who died, Calvin Gilbert, set up a restaurant to cater to inquisitive out-of-towners. I can promise this, though. The museum will never happen, and the beach and caves will be boarded up. Well, you still weren't too successful in that. Maybe not the museum. Was it a museum? I can't remember. But yeah, the, uh... Excuse me. The, uh, fencing of the cave didn't really work. Ew. There's things I can listen to here. So it's, uh, 102, right? When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. 
Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species, most notably the white-tailed towhee, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655, when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. When he was stationed... Okay. Um, hmm. I am going to check, because I see it was a dead, actually a dead end here. I'm going to go up and I'm going to check to see if there's a lighter there or not, because I wasn't looking for any bling shininess, but I'm, I'll cut it out if nothing actually happens, because it's going to take too long if I try to go up and down this route. Okay, so there's nothing on that ledge. Um, Jonas, I think, is... The AI suck at that point on the ledge, so I'm just gonna go. <laughs> and hopefully he should just show up when we are on this other, this other epiphany field. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight. But, you know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. What concert? It wasn't... you can't call it a concert. It was like an all-day, all-night, like, festival with tents and, like, a hundred bands. I don't care if it hit a million bands, Alex. Ashley had stolen her mom's car to go. And I know you say you didn't know that, which, whatever, but... You still knew mom and dad had barred you from going. <sighs> Just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. It'll be the last time, but maybe not for the reasons you think. I don't really care about the reasons. Just for my own sanity, don't do it anymore. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. That sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something. Wow, big man on campus. I don't know why I said that. Big step, that's what I mean. Big step. Eh, it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know, so... I don't know. I don't know why. I just wanted to tell you. Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately, this is, it's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know, and I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. Well, if you leave, I'd certainly miss you. Yeah, no, I'd miss you too. It's just that everybody here knows me, you know? I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. Just don't put so much pressure on yourself, Michael. Who cares what they think? You're gonna... You're gonna do what you're gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yes, I will. Uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard, leaving. Know what he said? Um, it was easy. I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Oh my, how profound. I can't believe Uncle Pete's a mere failed actor and not teaching philosophy at Berkeley. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> oh, shut up! Okay, so some relationship between Alex and Michael. Alex? Shut up, shut... 
Uh. You got, you know, you went bad again? I couldn't get you out of it. We should really, we should get this done, now. I saw, I saw Michael again. I just, I'm sorry. When I'm there, I just get sucked into it like nothing happened. Come on, it's all right. I think I can hear Ren and Nona down there. And now I remember where we're supposed to be. Uh, sorry, while I just... Century, sculpted by Lieutenant Peter Hasborough. It was installed here in 1979 to remind all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent to serve as a beat. Okay, yeah, I've heard that one. So we've already been in this area. So let's head down to Nona and Ren. And, uh,. Along, Jonas. Just don't say anything to them, okay? This is. It's just. Say like... anything about what? What are you guys talking about? We're dating. We're dating. Nona and I. We're gonna date. Rin, dude, what did I just say? What? They asked. Right? You asked. Mazel tov on the happy couple. <laughs> Thank you. No, stop. It's one date at the Revival Theater. We're just gonna sit quietly in the dark and watch a documentary on Bosnian genocide. Hmm. Romantic. Aw, uh, how yeah. cute. Riviera is a great movie house. And the ushers can't tell where you're putting your hands if you sit in row G, by the way. Please don't tell him that. Anyways, I know it's stupid to be planning or whatever for this, but... I don't know. I just felt like... He knew I was open to it, so why wait to plan? Whatever. Whatever. Truly the language of love. Good. I'm glad. This is... I mean, at the very least, I'll get to hear embarrassing stories, so... I... I want to get this off my chest. Just... Something happened to us tonight, Alex. Something broke. I don't know if it was the ghost or whatever, but... You've been acting like... Not you. Ren. No. I just... I don't well, know... Well, I'm sorry. I don't... I don't know what else to say, really. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm even saying this now. This is stupid, but... Can we, like, take a picture? Why? I don't know. In case things go bad and... Yeah, let's do it. We're on a beach. Kind of. Let's keep a shred of normal here. Alright, let's take it. Alex, get in here. You're not getting out of it. All right. Once we're yeah. in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So, make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. Well... Question is, do I have all of Maggie Adler's letters? But we can talk... To oh, I can... I can interact with people. I am coming with you, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm hugging everyone. <laughs> Oof. Okay. I... Uh, all right. Don't deny everyone gets a hug. We'll be back. Oh, I know. Kosha's not here, but she'll get hugged too if she was here. Uh... It's... Hmm. Is there anywhere else on the island I haven't been? I promise I don't want to waste time. There's no... There's no way for me to look at the map. So... Because I went through all of the... The, the, the abandoned town. I'm pretty sure... Well, 
here's the thing, I probably missed things. I'm pretty sure we went through and we scavenged the entire island. So here we go. Listen, Alex, I don't want to say anything to Ren or Nona, but the truth of it is I'm not feeling too awesome right now. It's kind of getting worse. Just hang in there, Jonas, okay? I know you feel like a garbage snowman right now, but we're almost done. Hey, what do you call a man who's short of time? Huh? Have you... Mm, no clue. Tim. You call him Tim. <laughs> oh... <laughs> yeah, it's not one of my finest. <laughs> okay. Tape player. It's kind of spooky, right? The beds? Thinking they would have slept here while the rest of us burned? Yeah, but do you think it would even have worked? Like, if... if Yugoslavia or whoever dropped an A-bomb on their heads? <sighs> Too late now anyway. I never got to try it out. Wait, it's... Oh, damn. It's another radio wave lock thing. I know there's this tape player here, but I don't know if I really want to live. It's... It feels, like, wrong to see one of these when we're not in a, a time loop, right? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Okay, so the tape player actually doesn't do anything, so we're just going to have to do the radio lock. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, there we go. That's... Okay, not that way. Wait, before... Look, if something happens on the other side of this door, just don't be stupid. Cut and run, okay? If I turn into dead weight or start freaking out, just get to the boat. Do whatever you have to. Just get out of here. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you know what? There, there's like the tenth time we've heard this song all night. There is something going on with... Like, why would this specific tune be all over the place? I have to know what's going on yeah, before- Yeah, it's probably a trick, Jonas. The ghosts know we're closing in on, on booting them out, and they're throwing up distractions to distract you. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. But, I mean, it's, it's ghosts. And I'm not about to throw away the possibility this is something... else. I'll be fast, but it's just too strange. Alright, I know what you're thinking, and Jonas, I'm sorry, but chances are remote that this is, like, your actual mom collect calling you from the grave or something. Yeah, but... how remote? Really? It's, like, breaking or something. Can you... can you fix it? I mean, it's just so crazy to keep hearing this, right? It was like a tick she had. <sighs> I don't know, but try and get it playing right if you can. We're not supposed to let Jonas talk to his Come on, mom. Jonas, let's... let's just get in the so... cave and remember why we're here, okay? <sighs> Can't you just help me out with this, please? No, now. Really, we we have to finish this before it's too late, okay? <sighs> okay. Okay, so that was the don't let Jonas talk to the mom. Okay. <laughs> 